Um, Gary Kubiak also talked about Raheem Moore. Oh, yeah. He's been a starting safety here for three years now, okay? Yeah. And he's, a, he's an unrestricted free agent. Mm -hmm. And we don't know if the Broncos are going to want to bring him back or if Raheem even wants to come back. So Kubiak was asked about Raheem Moore, and he said, he's played very well. He's one of our free agents, obviously, on the football team right now, but he played very well. The whole defense played well. I know they, they were in the top of the league defensively as far as yards given up. Um, he's a fine player. T.J. Ward is obviously on the roster, and we'll have to see how the other one works out, meaning the other safety position. Sure. But we'd love to have him back, just like the rest of the free agents. Hey, say what you got to say. Yeah. I don't think they're enamored by Raheem Moore. And I give Raheem Moore credit uh, for his perseverance, not only after the bungled play against the Ravens years ago, but for coming back from that crazy, mind-boggling injury that he that if yeah, things that had gone, thing. gone w wrong, he might have lost his leg. Uh, he came back and played pretty well at times for Denver, but he's, he's, he's not this uh, marquee player by any means. And I think if they have their eyes on uh, maybe uh, what, what are the two brothers, McCordy, the Devin McCordy. De yeah. uh, I think one of those guys might be, uh, might be the answer here. You know, it's really weird, Ben. What's that? When you talk to Broncos folks over at Dove Valley, they never say anything negative about Raheem Moore. Sure. They always say, he's fine. He plays well for us. Right. So why does everybody else have this perception that they could do better? Well, because he doesn't make impact plays. He doesn't get many interceptions. You don't see him on he highlights. Four last year. Yeah. All right. I mean, I mean that, that ain't bad. But I, I just don't think he doesn't really pop off the page, pop off the screen. That's a good point. And his, uh, you know, Woody loves it that I, I look at these, you know, advanced stats and these these breakdown numbers and stuff. And he's just okay, is what I'm getting at. He's just okay. Bring him back. He's serviceable. But if you can get a guy you think can make more of a pop, more of an impact, similar That's price. It. He's just serviceable. So serviceable. you can do better. Yeah. It's kind of like when you have Clint Barmas at shortstop. Right. right? Yeah, he's, he's serviceable, serviceable. But serviceable. you're always looking for somebody better. Like when I'm filling in for Woody. Yeah, yeah. Hawkman's serviceable. Look, well, and we tried to find somebody better, but they all said <laughs> no.